Khafre's Valley Temple, site of the ritual funerary ceremonies for the deceased king, is similar in many ways to the front portions of his pyramid temple, just east of the pyramid itself. Built of gigantic limestone blocks that were cased with red granite from Aswan, the temple looked eastwards to the quay or harbor connection. It was connected by two ramps leading from the water westwards to the two temple entrances. Two tunnels are cut under these ramps on a north-south axis. The ramps take us to the temple's east facade where a pair of crouching sphinx statues, possibly dating later to the New Kingdom, flanked both of the massive doorways. The entrances connect to a north-south corridor or vestibule with white alabaster floor and walls cased in red granite. It was here in 1860 that French Egyptologist Auguste Mariette, the founder of the Egyptian Antiquity Service, discovered the famous seated statue of Khafre, one of the great masterpieces of Egyptian sculpture. It lay buried in the north end of this corridor. Further inside the temple, a large pillared hall takes the form of the letter T, with 16 single-block granite pillars. Narrow slits towards the tops of the walls provided the only source of light, creating a very dramatic setting. 23 rectangular statue emplacements for statues of the king lined the walls. Six storage magazines are placed off to the south in two stories of three rooms on each story. And to the northwest is the connection to the causeway, an additional chamber of unknown purpose, and a stairway to the roof. This entire magnificent building is 44.8 meters, or 147 feet, square, with a preserved height of 13 meters, or 43 feet. 